Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Hey guys, it's Toy Nicole and I'm going to show you how to create an interactive digital notebook. To start off, I changed the um, page size. I went to File, uh, Page Setup, and under Page Setup, I went to Custom and changed it to 8 by 5 by 11 inches. The front cover I got from a Google search. There are also some cool ones on Teachers Pay Teachers for free. And this is what my inside is, um, what the inside is going to look like. Um, I went up here to shapes and added a blue rectangle for the background to match the cover. I used this shape here for the pages, the red page, and the one right next to it for the tabs. I just tilted it sideways. All right, so the blue background, the red page, the red tab, and the home button are all linked to slide two already. This um, helps the parents and students to navigate the notebook and to keep the slides from auto advancing. I'm going to go ahead and copy the slides and paste a few more for the pages. Two, three, four. Now I'm going to go in and change the color to match the tabs. That page is going to be blue. This page will be green. And this page will be orange. All right. So now I just need to insert the links. All right. So again, this one's already linked to slide two. So I need to link this tab to the orange page, which is slide three slide three and I need to link the green tab to slide four right click link and it does not let me scroll all the way down for some reason so I need to go to slide four and copy the link now I could insert it all right and I'll do the same for the blue since it won't let me scroll down, I have to go and copy the link this way. All right. Right click. All right. So now my red page, page two, is all linked. Um, red is on two, orange three, green four, blue five. And again, it gets cut off down there. So you can't see it, but it's linked to five. So we're going to go to the orange page and do the same thing. I'm going to have to take this link out and link it back to slide two because that's the home page. This red slide is going to go back to slide two because that's the home page, the red page. And orange is going to go to slide three. And the green is going to go to slide four. It's going to get cut off. If anybody knows why I can't scroll down, please let me know. I have to go and do it this way. All right, and go back up and link that green slide to slide four. Uh, and I have to do the same for this one. Come back up and link that blue tab to slide five. All right, so you're going to do the same for the green and the um, blue pages. I've already did that, so I'm going to switch over to this presentation. And as you can see, the green pages, they're already done. Get rid of this message. Um, the red is on slide two, orange three, green four, blue five. Um, and for the blue page, it's the same. Red two, orange three, green four, blue five. Again, if anybody knows why this gets cut off, even if I move this down, it's still, I can't see it or link it, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to link that home button back to slide two. Make sure I did that. Yep. So this is what it will look like in present mode. Okay, that's front cover. Go to the orange tab, green tab, blue tab. 
and you can also go back to the home screen from those tabs. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure those links go to wherever you need them to go. Um, I do have a Facebook page, um, Digital Resources for Elementary Teachers, so you can go on that. I have a lot of free resources for teachers and free digital activities for teachers. All right, here we go. All right, preview. And this is what the one I um, that looks that I made for my kindergartners look like. Um, there's a front cover. This is my home screen. Their morning work is on the red tab, reading. Um, I have a video there for them to click on. Some links they can click on. They can go to the next page under reading. Writing, math. I have the arrows down there to switch back and forth. Science and social studies. And they can click um, throughout and back to the home page. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out the Facebook page, Digital Resources for Elementary Teachers. I have a lot of free resources there and um, digital activities all for free. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Bye.